Miller because he has a chance to be an excellent point guard in this league. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Dunleavy for three. No luck. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Teague with the ball. Now defended by Carter Williams. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Covington. Right side Teague. And that one's on target from the wing. Teague's got the lead up to 10 now for the Hawks. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Carter Williams kicks to Ilias over. Knocked away. And that's on a bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. 41 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Carter Williams. And he comes off the screen and skins it through. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set play for it. Well, that's using your head and using your body. Shot clock at six. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. I tell you what, you gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside like that. Well, his leaping ability, Clark, gives him a great advantage. Yeah, and that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it feels like it's either a dunk or a foul and a couple of free throws every possession. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Hawks lead by 10. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. The Hawks leading by 10. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the court for Atlanta. Robert Covington out there with Stephen Adams. Then it's Jeremy Lin. Then there's Ronnie Brewer. And it's Foy in the shooting guard position. Adams. And Batum takes the snell. Atlanta with the rebound. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Now, here is four. Guarded close. Lynn's shot is off. The 76ers trailed by 10. What's up a three? Snell, that's good. Snell's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Philadelphia. Lynn the pass to Covington. Stolen by Monroe. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Covington dishes to Adams. Pass to Brewer. Lynn kicks to Foy. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And that one's good. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Irving kicks to Batum. They set the screen. Off the pick. That one's in there. The Hawks lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Pachulia. Up top, Lynn, covered by Irving. Brewer, the pass to Lynn. There's Foy with the three. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got three assists in the game. Irving kicks to Snell. Back to Irving. Lots of room. Can't hit. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. 
where they really dominated on the glass. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. Lock at six. Brewer wishes to win from the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Batum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pulls up from the corner. That one's in there. The Hawks lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Snell. They're on fire from mid-range, guys. They found a weakness in the defense, and they're exploiting it to a T. Not often you see a team rely on that shot like they have. And Boyd kicks to win. Here's Covington, covered by Monroe. Adams' shot is off. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Irving passes to Batum. Out to the wing. Patchouli it is just to smell. A three-pointer off the mark. The Atlanta leading by nine. And Voigt kicks to win. Here's Covington. Covered by Monroe. Covington with the bucket. Covington's got five points now in the quarter. Irving again. Land from outside the arc. Rebound Atlanta. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. And at least as I look at it. Covington passes to Lynn. He feeds it to Adams. Yes! And a nice assist from Lynn. And the Hawks lead by 13. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Monroe with a screen on Lynn. And the pass to Batum. The feet to Snell. For the three. And it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got six rebounds in the game. Lynn dishes to four. Back to Lynn. Pass to Covington. Kicks it to four. Launches a three. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. The 76ers trail by 13. Outside Irving. Here's Batum. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense, as good a job offensively as, as we saw, the defensive presence was almost non existent. They may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. Here's Snell. There's the pick. That's good, and the Atlanta lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Batum. Tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Teague kicks to Kid Gilchrist. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. Here's Teague. Pass to Kid Gilchrist. He dishes it to Doug. Fader on the way. No good from Duncan. The 76ers trail by 11. Offensive rebound. Here's Batum. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jared Duggan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Terrific defensive play to cut him off and square up. And he took a shot. Excellent toughness to get in there and make a play. I love that kind of work. Here's the screen. 
Snell kicks to Irving. On the wing, Batum. He's guarded by Dudley. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pachulia. And he banks in the way. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. Teague again, serving. Teague gets to Doug. Here's Kid Gilchrist. There's the block. And he gets it back. The 76ers trail by nine. Here's Batum. A beautiful reverse layup. Well, after all those struggles in the first half, he has really picked it up here in the second. Teague with the ball. He's picked up by Irving. To the middle. Trying to get back on track. Snatched up. Teague the pass to Dudley. He kicks to Kufus. Hawks passing it around. Teague dishes to Kufus. Outside Kid Gilchrist. Duncan with the screen for Kid Gilchrist. Here's Teague. Great D that time from Irving. 76ers have gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one anyway. And Dudley kicks to tee. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. They're contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in trap. Platoon passes to Monroe. Dishes it to Pachulia. And the jump to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Oh, man, they needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. And a good one, defensively and offensively. It's been a terrific stretch for them. Dudley's shot is good. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Monroe sets a screen for Irving. A picture-perfect screen play, and the jumper's good. Nice physicality displayed by Monroe to set that shot up. Irving again. It's T. Duncan with this green on Irving. And Dudley kicks the T. Feeds it to Duncan. Not loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Atlanta making some changes. Robert Covington's checked in for Michael Kidd. And it's Foy in for Jared Dudley. The 76ers trail by eight. Outside Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Irving against T. There's the dish to four. Back to T. Passes it to Covington. T kicks to four. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And the Hawks making a change here. Adams checked in. The 76ers running out of time. Irving against Teague. And Batum kicks to Snell. Six on the shot clock. And on the way from Irving for three. It's in! Oh, and that puts the lead to just five. Defensively, they can't afford to back off of him that much. We don't want to be giving up easy threes, especially at this stage of the game. Irving against T. They double him with Irving. 
Here's Duncan. Again, the Hawks score. 